Good morning, my friends. I'm so glad you could be with me today as we continue our Unfolding the Word studies together. Those of you that have been with me, you know we've been in 2 Peter. And today, in the first chapter, I'd like to pick up the reading in verse 12. Therefore, I intend always to remind you of these qualities, though you know them and have been established in the truth that you have. I think it right, as long as I am in this body, to stir you up by way of reminder. Since I know that the putting off of my body will be soon, as our Lord Jesus has made clear to me. And I will make every effort so that after my departure, you may be able at any time to recall these things. We've been looking in first in Second Peter, the first chapter, at a number of issues. And what Peter is bringing before us now is a fundamental fact that all Christians need to grasp and operate under, and it is this. We all need frequent reminders of the truth. Peter's goal here is obviously to refresh the memory of the believers and to do it frequently. Now, Paul, not only Peter, had the same orientation. Listen to these words that Paul wrote in the book of Philippians in chapter 3, verse 1. Finally, my brothers, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things to you is no trouble to me and is safe for you. We need reminders of God's truth. Why? Well, fundamentally, the reason we need those reminders is that we easily begin to forget what we once thought we knew. That is the human characteristic. Now, in a broad sense, all of us face memory problems. Some people struggle with memory more than others. But the fact of the matter is, no matter what in general is true of your memory, spiritually speaking, we will begin to ignore what we once thought was important if it is not continually brought before us. I think the truth of the matter is for Christians, brothers and sisters in Christ, all of us are but days and weeks away from spiritual dotage, meaning spiritual uh, loss of perception and memory. We need frequent reminders of the truth of God's Word. It's not enough to have read through it once. It's not enough to even attended a class once. We need weekly reminders of God's truth. In fact, daily reminders by being in God's Word ourselves. I think that's one of the reasons, not the only reason, but it's one of the reasons for the strong emphasis in Hebrews chapter 3 and in Hebrews chapter 10. In chapter 3, we find that God wants us to be with other believers so that we can warn and admonish every, each other every day as long as it is called today that none of us would be hardened by sin's deceitfulness. And then, of course, in the 10th chapter is the classic passage from verses 23 to 25 about not forsaking assembling together because it's there that we provoke one another to love and good deeds. <laughs> we need reminders. Now, Peter has just finished in the study of the first chapter we've been taking out a number of core reminders for these believers. He's reminded them of our precious and equal standing if we know Jesus Christ as Savior before the Lord. He's reminded us in these verses of the need to choose to grow, to build upon the foundation of our standing in the Lord Jesus. He's reminded us of the provision that God has made for life and godliness, his precious and very great promises, the enabling of his Holy Spirit who indwells us. He's done a lot of reminding, hasn't he? And we've been trying to look at those carefully together. Now, the fact is, as we read this, remind ourselves again, we never outgrow our need for reminding. I think it's very significant here that Peter, in speaking to the people receiving this letter, says, I remind you, I intend to always remind you of these qualities, though you already know them. <laughs> the truth of the matter is, even if we know a truth, we need it reinforced. Peter's readers already knew the truth, but they still needed reminding because it wasn't enough to hear once or even to understand. 
The truth of the matter is, for all intents and purposes, we end up forgetting what we don't often remind ourselves about. And by forgetting here, I'm not saying that if you sat down and took a test, you couldn't remember a stray fact about the scripture or about doctrine. What I mean is that you forget its application, the wisdom to live in light of it. You know, one of the one of the things I very much support is people getting away for Bible institutes to get away, maybe spend a year, a couple years of their life just studying God's word. But you know, I've also discovered that numbers of people who've done that have decided in the years following that that they don't need to be under Bible teaching because it, they, you know, they formally studied this truth. Brothers and sisters, even if you sat under the apostles, you needed to be frequently reminded of the truths. To have taken courses is not adequate. It serves a role, but it's the day-to-day, -day, the week-to-week, -week, reinforcing of biblical truth that we so drastically need. We forget it in practice and in application and in vitality unless we're getting reminded about it. Now, why? Why does this dynamic operate that Peter, under direction of the Holy Spirit, is warning us about here? And the answer to it is pretty straightforward biblically. Satan, the enemy of our souls, the world system and culture in which we find ourselves living, and our old man, the flesh, work together to try to bury our awareness and sensitivity to God's truth. The flesh wants us to ignore the word, push it in the back burner, so to speak, so that we'll make choices to sin, to satisfy the passions of the flesh. The world system and culture around us wants to ignore the word so that we will conform to that culture rather than stand out and make the culture feel guilty about how they are. Satan wants us to ignore the scripture and push it on the back burner because he wants us to align with his rebellion against God. That's why you and I need continual teaching in the scriptures. Why the, word, the church that we are part of needs to be a Bible church focused on God's word, focused on bringing it before us verse by verse, week by week. And it's why we need to be in the word privately, daily, in devotions where we're letting our mind rest. I'm praying that our times in unfolding the word are helping you day by day to keep things fresh in your mind before the Lord. Here's the truth. I could hear and you could hear 1 Peter and 2 Peter taught verse by verse repeatedly for years and years and years and years and still benefit from it because of the tendency toward forgetting. Remember, our tendency toward forgetting is the reason why we need reminding. And how can you read these verses that I read to you today without understanding the importance of being reminded? Our bent toward forgetfulness is why the Bible needs to be taught consistently and continually before us. And again, the bent toward forgetfulness isn't that we've forgotten a fundamental doctrine. What we've forgotten is to be doers of the word, not only hearers. And the only way we maintain ourselves as vital doers of the word is to be under the continual teaching of the word. Frequently reminded, we all need to hear the word of God taught. We all need to be reminded of his precious and great promises. The word of God is intended to be a constant reminder to us. We all need Bible teaching. We all need to be feasting on God's word daily in our own walk. We all need Bible teaching. But let me end these verses by saying, we don't need the specific teacher. You know, Peter makes the note here. He wants to keep reminding the people as long as he has opportunity. But he knows he's not going to be there forever. As he puts it, uh, he's going to be departing. He's going to be putting off the body. The Lord Jesus had made known to him his martyrdom was coming very quickly. Even the best teachers of God's word die. 
That's the truth. And while we benefit from this people who surrender before the Lord and serve out his purposes as teachers of his word, something I pray I can do, they are with us for only a time. What we need is his word more than we need that teacher. That teacher fulfills a specific role for us to help keep us reminded of God's truth. But what we really need is the word. We need to go to the scriptures and learn. I have a role. Your pastor has a role. You have a role. But the sustaining rock is hearing and doing the word of God. Is that how you view it? We all need reminders. Now the upcoming verses that we'll turn to next begin to talk to us about the inspiration of scripture. There's a theme obviously running through all of this so that we understand where our hope and foundation is found. Join me then, won't you? God bless. <laughs>